So this is a Dakota Lithium 24 volt 50 amp power battery. It has a little GUI, which is kind of nice. Shows battery voltage and percentage. And it has it comes with this charger, so you don't need to actually spend any more money on the charger. And you can compare it to the 100 amp hour LIFE PO4s I have here which are 12 volts, so it's almost practically the same size case and um, in fact it is almost the same size case maybe a little bit thinner but it's basically the same size case and uh, that's it charging so I'm going to connect this to the Bixby because it is uh, 24 volts that should give me about three and a half times the range of the standard Bixby battery. So this is a standard Bixby battery. Um, <clears throat> so this is actually a lithium ion, not a LIFEP of four, which is unfortunate because um, lithium ions don't do well on marine applications. Now the annoying thing is Bixby has uh, these guys which are hex security screws so you can't unscrew it without security bits so I have to get um, this Nico 148A uh, security bit set um, so that should get rid of these security bits <coughs> So what you're looking for is a security bit, which is not a star like the Torx, but is a hex head. So this like slide might do it. Nope. This guy might. Nope. So it's not a metric. Hey, so it's a weird let's try number six. Didn't work out. Try number four. Okay, so it looks like it's a number three uh, metric, not the imperial styles. So, I shall get my power screwdriver, flip it to reverse, and grab a little adapter for it. An adapter. And basically, there you go. So, let's do this. So it looks pretty good. They're all the machine fasteners. So with the security thing in the middle. So fairly easy to take out with a whole bunch of them. So I'll take them out and then come back. So 
the next step is basically just to lift the thing and when you do that uh, the handle comes out which is quite normal it's just a little rubberized handle gently slide it out and here's what we get so we have charging cables um, so I'm going to disconnect the charging cables because um, you know, once it's done it's pretty much done uh, the LIFEPO for can't be charged with the XP charge got the massive uh, command battery pack um, looks like thermistor soft pack wires which are going to be reused and uh, yeah the charging cables so I need to disconnect the charging cables get rid of these battery cables and disconnect the thermistors and see if this thing will still work. Okay, so I've got um, them disconnected. And we can see the battery things and the thermistor looks like it. And disconnect the charger next. So this is the Bixby pack removed. Um, Still okay. I've got this guy, which is a perfect fit for the battery, which is off the Victron charger. So in some way, I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be stripping this out, and I've got these guys, which fit perfectly with the Bixby 1855 BP. These are automotive picos, and I can take the plastic tabs off these, so it'll be perfectly like it was for the other pack and I don't want to drill holes in the case so I'll be removing this guy if I can if I can't then I'll drill holes in the case loop the wiring through um, which does destroy the watertight integrity of the case but we can't help that so it is what it is do not do this if you want warranty for your Bixby pack um, yeah. Okay, so the only way to really do it is with the number 13 socket. This is a metric 13, 3 quarter inch, and it fits nicely on the nut. So the nut is sick of flexed or whatever this thing is. But if you use a 13 socket and one of these, which goes to the metal, what's wrong with that, you can twist it and break the sick of flex seal. Obviously, once you do that, then the thing comes out and you're fine. So once you get the ring out, you basically just push down on this thing. And it basically separates out. And then it comes out from the front. Don't forget that it does come out from the front, not the back. Um, this ring is basically holding it together from the back. So. so these wires are considerably thicker than the originals. So now they've been inserted through it. And I'm going to solder it to the connector. Okay, so I basically hooked it up um, to the battery with this thing. Um, and I can switch the battery on. You can see it's three quarters charged. I've connected this guy to my Bixby. And I'll put the little magnetic thing in there. I mean, uh, position it properly. You 
there you go magnetic kill switch is in place you can see the light goes off unlike um, when you put like real batteries in it take the wrist controller see what happens so positive there you go it does work and reverse there you go um, so it does work fine um, you can see it's lit up now which it wasn't doing before and showing full charge obviously the battery monitoring thing would be um, and then if I pull it out kill switch make sure it works yeah kill switch works so everything works normally um, pretty good the way it is power down yeah so that's uh, the Bixby uh, with the Dakota lithium 24 volt 50 amp hour battery obviously you need the Dakota charger to charge it charging circuitry has been disabled but everything else works normally so as you'd expect